I must tell you in the hijab controversy, the judgment was very bad. Very bad. And when I read the judgment, I pointed out to the court two paragraphs. And both the paragraphs said that any woman who wears a hijab is incapable of scientific temperament. If you wear the hijab, it means you are not capable of scientific and rational thinking. And when we began the arguments, I pointed out to these two paragraphs. How can any judge in India speak like this? It is a sign of ideological bias, no? It is a sign of wrong thinking of a judge. But I must tell you, because the matter was taken up here, came to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court bar stood like warriors on this judgment. I was very surprised. Secular lawyers stood firm. At least 10 legal uh, senior advocates, at least 10 spoke against the hijab ban. At least 10 lawyers spoke. So the judges could see senior advocate after senior advocate speaking up for justice. Then we had a judge on the bench in the Supreme Court whose views were known. We won't go into that. The senior judge, is, his views were known. And he was very, let us say, uh, quite active. And the junior advocate was a younger judge, new judge. But he delivered such a fine judgment. So what I'm saying is that sometimes we think Nothing can be done. The forces of these right-wing people are too strong. But not like that. Not like that. If we prepare well, study well, argue well, and be brave. The minority community particularly has to be very brave. And today, even the other minority community to which I belong, even that community has come under attack. We have to be brave. We have to be outspoken. Don't speak in diplomatic terms and so on. Speak totally bravely. And then you never know. I think we will get results. 